Welcome everyone to yet another episode of NWA Power. We are starting things off in a big time matchup in which we are going to be seeing. Uh, I don't even know what I call him other than Rich Swan, the guy who screwed over Zack Sabre Jr. last episode of NWA Power in order to face Nick Aldis for the NWA World Ship. Oh no. Yeah, I kind of saw this coming. <laughs> Zack Sabre Jr. of course getting screwed over by Rich Swan now the two times now that has happened and now Rich Swan not going to let it go that easily Rich Swan obviously I, I don't know why but he's just he's had a target out on Zack Sabre Jr. since since Sabre's debut here and his debut match against Nick Aldis Rich Swan basically ruined the matchup and then last week distracted Zack Sabre Jr., which allowed Rohit Raju to get the big mat or get the big win. Zack Sabre Jr. has had enough, and Rich Swan basically subject to the attack today. But I, I don't know how it's gonna work. Oh my! It was only a matter of time between ZSJ blew up. To be completely honest, but welcome Matthew. Welcome, Kian, of course, to NWA Power. Looks like Zack Sabre Jr. able to get the victory here. The early victory here against Rich Swamp. We'll figure out more between these two as time goes on, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless of the fact, Zack Sabre Jr. getting some much-needed revenge here, you could say. All right. As you guys can see, we got ourselves a big-time match card. I'm going to go over it now that we have the opportunity to. We were supposed to be Rich Swan versus the debut of Chris Adonis, the masterpiece Chris Adonis. Sadly, it did not come to come true thanks to Zack Sabre Jr. But coming up next is our first of our two Beat the Clock challenges. We'll have one this week in which it will be Kenta versus TJP. Then the second one will be taking place next week in which it will be Samurai Del Sol versus a mystery opponent we don't know yet. The whole point of the Beat the Clock Challenge, though, is whoever wins will be able to choose the stipulation between Kenta and Samurai Del Sol's match at Parade of Champions. Next, we see Big Swole in action, like I promised, against Tasha Steeles. First time she's being out here in NWA. First matchup for her. What a big name it would be if she could take out Big Swole early on in her career. Next, a rematch from two weeks ago. We are seeing the wrestling prodigies go one on one against the Gorillas of Destiny. We were not happy how things ended last time, in which it ended in a count out for Gorillas of Destiny. So we want that rematch, and we are going to get it. And then finally, in the main event, probably the biggest match we could offer you guys right now as you all know Rohit Raju did not win the gauntlet match last week is very upset over the fact that he didn't Base and he's upset over the fact that he's not even on the poster for Parade of Champions he considers it a great insult so basically Sting has given him an opportunity to not only be in the main event of Parade of Champions but also to be added to the poster he has to choose two of his allies, a.k.a. two of the Maharajas, in case this time it's Samir and Sunil Singh, in which the three of them will be going against the three who are already in the main event of Parade of Champions. That, of course, being Chris Hero, Alexander Hammerstone, and none other than the NWA World Champion himself, Nick Aldis. But without further ado, let's get on with today's card. We already saw some big action between Rich Swan and getting a tag from ZSJ. Let's get on further now. Between Kenta and TJP. Now, of course, the big thing about this matchup, especially for a bleep, Beat the Clock Challenge, you could lose it right away. Beat the Clock Challenge, you have to win the match as well. You can't lose the match. But just in case everyone is wondering, I do have my stopwatch on me here at ringside, here as I'm commentating today's matchup, in which I'll be able to to tell you exactly what the put in time is between Kenta and TJP. Also, hello Calvin, welcome into the stream. It is good to see you here. Welcome, welcome to NWA Power. Great card, thank you, Kian. I'm much appreciated. Matt has got Kenta winning this one, as does Kian. No faith in TJP, even though TJP, I, well, to be fair, he was in last week's gauntlet match. But he also lost last week's gauntlet match to Moose. Which, by the way, I guess I should bring that up. Moose is not under contract with NWA. Uh, yeah, 
Moose is not under contract in, with NWA. It was basically a one-time appearance for Moose. Um, he's trying to find his new home after being fired from Impact as that new home. Well, it's not going to be here at NWA. Calvin, you came here from J official JRJ Discord server. Ah, I figured you did. I figured you did, buddy. I'm glad to have you. Hope you enjoy the show. Coming up first, though, is a man who's made a big statement in the wrestling world. Debuting here at NWA is Kenta. Went out and attacked Samurai Del Sol. And the attack would have, would have been flawless had it been for Great Muta. Kenta had Samurai Del Sol exactly where he wanted, but Great Muta, acting as a great protector, saved Samurai Del Sol from basically Kenta's attack. Regardless of the fact, Kenta now getting ready to do action here tonight against TJP. Two cruiserweights going at it here. And the, I guess you could say this is the first episode or the first match of the card, thanks to ZSJ. Hopefully, I will let you guys know we will get a Chris Adana debut next week because as a superstar, I've been waiting to get into the universe. So Chris Adonis will be making the masterpiece. Chris Adonis will be making his long way to debut next week. I can't promise that. Who knows? Maybe he'll be the one to go with Samurai Del Sol. All right, here he comes. Man who needs no introduction. In my under my opinion, one of the most underrated superstars in today's world is TJP. TJP, of course, made famous in New Japan Pro Wrestling over the past couple of years. Inaugural IWGP United States Champion, inaugural Never Openweight Championship. Had classics against Zack Sabre Jr. Hasn't been able to, to make his way. Hasn't been able to make his, his way here in NWA yet. But who knows, this very well could be a way to do it. What day is NWA Power IRL? I um, do not know, Calvin, to be completely honest. Matt, Kian, either of you guys know the answer to that one. I feel like Kian would. Kian's smart like that. Not saying that you're not smart, Matt. Don't even try twisting my words around on me. <laughs> Tuesdays, thank you. Oh, well, guess what? Today's Tuesday. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Kenta versus TJP. First time ever, I think, these two have ever locked horns with each other. Everyone has full con confidence in Kenta. No one thinks TJP is going to win this matchup. Kenta, of course, with all the momentum. Oh! TJP, though, reversing it right now. Choking Kenta out with the ropes here, as always, though, in the ring. It's none other than NWA's referee, Manny Nomura. Now Kenta, what is he going to go for here? Not going to go for anything as TJP go for a quick roll up here on Kenta. Is that going to be enough to put him away? One. Oh, reversal from Kenta. And a kick out from TJP. Right now, Kenta looking good here. A slow start to this matchup, though. Now again, TJP rolling up to... Rolling up Kenta decides not to stick it with the pin, though. Oh, instead goes into a DDT. Very smart by TJP. And now just wrenching the neck of Kenta. Very wise, very smart by TJP. Instead trying to end the matchup quickly. Instead of trying to end the matchup quickly, basically doing his best to, to do more damage. And now, oh! Now, TJP. Oh, huge suplex there from Kenta. I'm very surprised that that Kenta didn't go for the, the cover after that suplex. But, oh my goodness, Furious strikes there from TJP now to Kenta. And now, oh my goodness, huge takedown there from Kenta. Now just pummeling away on TJP. This has been a very even matchup, in my opinion, thus far, between these two. Now look at this, just getting in the face of one another. 
And oh, ho, 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 TJP might have just broken the jaw of Kenta. Gonna go for the cover after that one. Kick out a one from Kenta, though. Back and forth action now starting to begin here between these two. TJ gonna throw Kenta into the corner. Oh, reversal from Kenta now. And now reversal from TJP, knocking him up against the ropes. And oh, setting up flying to the outside. TJ now. What is he going to go for here? TJP, DJP. Oh, my goodness. Defying gravity. Doing it as only cruiserweights know how. Now, Kenta surprisingly threw TJ back into the ring. TJ now... Into the corner by Kenta. And now back and forth. That's, oh my! TJP caught Kenta there. And now, oh, Kenta caught him with a right hook right to the face. And now back and forth action. This is what we like to see. Two evenly matched superstars giving it everything that they've got. And now, oh, both superstars missing an attack there. And now look at this, TJP, oh my goodness, and the dab, a little bit of, I don't want to call it disrespect, but a little bit of style from TJP, and now he's going top rope, TJP, let's go for it here, another moonsault, this time goes for the cover, one, two, and a kick out two for their farm, Kenta. These two young men giving it everything they got already in this matchup. Now, oh, again, Kenta getting caught by TJ. Oh, going for the super kick. Kenta able to get out of the way. And oh, my goodness, that suplex causing TJP to land right on his head. And now TJ... TJ is Kenta. TJ is Kenta. Oh, there it is. TJP not going for the cover yet. Instead. Oh, I thought he was going to be going for that dynamite kick. Now instead, Kenta fighting out of it. TJP back up to his feet. Karana sends him to crashing back down. Evenly matched up again between these two. Kenta now having a hold of TJ. What is he going for here? Trying to potentially make TJP tap out. TJ though quickly getting out of this hold. We know TJ, he has had some major arm problems here in his career. We've seen that thing get popped out of socket on multiple occasions. And oh, TJ now. TJ. Oh, what is this? Kenta's got a hold of TJP. What is he going to go for right here? Oh, my. You're good, AJ, and welcome to NWA Power. This is our technically our first matchup of the evening as the first matchup of Rich Swan versus Chris Adonis basically got ruined because of Zack Sabre Jr. getting some well-needed revenge on Rich Swan. And uh-oh, Kenta now. Kenta, what is he going to go for here? Oh, my. Potentially knocking out. Oh, wait, Kenta. Kenta with a reversal on that Kenta. I'm sorry, but TJP still in this matchup. I can't believe after that kick to the head. Trying to go for an insecurity. Unable to do so. Kenta going to go for the cover instead. And a kick out two there from TJP. I play trash 2K20. <laughs> And now, oh, just with that, Fortnite is finished. Updating on my PS4. Running. I, I don't even know what that was. It looked like a running knee. I don't know what it was from TJ. All I know is it worked. And now TJP with Kenta up on his shoulder. Reversal from Kenta, though. Kenta now. It's Kenta's turn now. He's going to get it. He's going to get it. GT has gone to sleep. Tommy. One. Two. Three. That is all she wrote go to sleep put a stop on the clock oh boy
Kenta with the win here. Kenta. So we're just waiting a minute. As right now, we're getting our time official who's going to announce the official time. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> My throat is scratchy. The official time of this beat the clock challenge for for uh, Kenta here as he is able to put away TJP in a relatively quick match. Kenta getting ready for his matchup against Samurai Del Sol, though. With a relatively quick time, too, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with a time of 7 minutes and 49 seconds. I'm going to type that in chat just so we all know it. So we all got it. 7 minutes and 49 seconds is the time to beat for Samurai Del Sol. Wow. That is that is going to be a tough time to beat for Samurai Del Sol, but if anybody can beat it, it's going to be Del Sol. I guess it really all depends, though, on who Samurai Del Sol is fighting next week. Let's move on to our next decent time. It's decent time. Samurai Del Sol is quick. He could put away a man that quick. He, I believe in that. Let's move on to our next matchup of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Glad you guys are all enjoying NWA Power. This is a very nice, healthy crowd we got here already. Coming up next is Big Swole versus a debuting Tasha Steeles. Tasha Steeles, of course, has been in, in NWA since the beginning. Has not had a chance, though, to have a match. It's their time to make a name for himself. Of course, as Big Swole is our current number one contender for the NWA Women's Championship, in which she will fight Kira Hogan, the champion, at Parade of Champions. Which, greatly looking forward to that matchup. I can't tell you enough. I can't wait for that matchup, to be completely honest. Going with Big Swole here. Honestly, the, the, the favor in this matchup is Big Swole. I mean, we don't know what Tasha Steeles can actually do. Can tell you, however, that she is friends with Kira Hogan. Both of them IRL friends and friends here in NWA Power. So that could... I mean, who knows what could happen with this. Big Swole could potentially make a big statement on Tasha Steeles here. See what I did there? Haha. <laughs> Funny guy, Jesse. By the way, um, while we're on this loading screen, I feel as if it is an important thing to bring up right now. I'm going to break a little bit of kayfabe here. Uh, starting on Sunday, this week, this is right now, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably not going to be posted on the right day, but um, starting today, which is Tuesday, um, on the f next Sunday, like five days from now, uh, my work schedule is going to shift. It is going to change. What I mean by that is, is that I am going to be start working overnights. Um, I don't know what my actual days are yet. It's either going to be Monday, Tuesday, or Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, patent pending. Um, basically, whenever this is set, whenever everything is is set and ready for my job, is basically when I'm going to finalize the day in which NWA Power is going to be streamed. Because I would like to do it on my day off. Uh, because currently it's not done on my day off, in which after going and doing an eight-hour, potentially longer shift than that, I like especially today, guys. You have no idea. I really just wanted to go home and sleep, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> which again, I do appreciate the nice, healthy crowd here um, to kind of like help me. Like, like, see, everyone's here. Everyone wants to watch NWA. Let's do this. Let's have some fun. So thank you guys for that. Um, but yeah, so on Sunday, or even later on in the week when I get my schedule, um, NWA could potentially stay on Mondays like it's supposed to, or it might move to Tuesdays, patent pending, I don't know yet, but regardless, don't be chanting no NXT in here, no, 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 Calvin, no, 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 I'm not letting that one go, Calvin, how dare you, sir, there's a wound on my pride. You see, Calvin, in here, we got our own little logo, and it's NWA, NWA, NWA. <laughs> All right, let's get on with the match, guys. You guys are an awesome crowd here. You guys are, I, I love this. I love having fun with you guys. This is great, so thank you. Uh, coming out now is, of course, Big Swole versus. <laughs> 
What's NJPW? I don't know what NJPW is anymore. Anyways, it's Big Swole versus Tasha Heat Sheets. Big Swole, of course, earning her number one contendership um, after defeating Jade Cargill at hard times in a grueling falls count anywhere match. We saw these two go out literally into the backstage area. We saw them go out into the parking lot. We saw these two fight all over the ring. In which it was Big Swole who, after basically blasting Kira Hogan's head, or Kira Cargill, Jade Cargill's head onto a car, was able to make her tap out. Gosh, I could not speak, but regardless, coming out now is. So or, uh, I'm game. I'm flustered. I am all over the place, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm having fun here. Tasha Steele. Like I said, in IRL and in here, best friends with Kara Hogan. Kind of formed a tag team, you could say, uh, with each other. So it only makes sense right now for her to be coming out and facing off against Big Swole. Of course, potentially Big Swole could, like I said, make a big statement and potentially hurt Tasha here. I don't know. And a lot of... I, there, it's The shed is kind of... It's kind of split. It kind of isn't. It's a vote of two to one right now in favor of Big Swole. Regardless, Tasha getting ready for battle. The interesting is to see what this young lady has in store. She goes against Big Swole, arguably one of the most dominant women here in NWA. Ring the bell, man, and more. Here we go. And oh! Tasha going hot low while Big Swole was going high. Neither one connected there. But Tasha right now looks to be the one in the advantage here. She goes for a reverse DDT there on Big Swole. And now reversed by Swole. Tasha right now. If I had to say power is in the favor of Big Swole, speed is in the favor of Tasha. And look at this. Big Swole taunting Tasha. But Tasha... Playing a game of cat and mouse right now against Big Swole. And honestly, it is working. The mouse is outsmarting the cat. Are we watching Tom and Jerry or NWA Power? And now right now, Tasha doing a little taunt there to Big Swole. That's never a good idea. Never take off somebody who's bigger than you. There's now Big Swole picking apart Tasha piece by piece. Tasha, though, with the reversal. Trying to go for a suplex there. And now Swole going to throw Tasha in the corner. Going to follow her there. Tasha moving out of the way, though. And now Big Swole, again, having a hold of Tasha. Tasha reverses Big Swole. Big Swole now. Uh-oh. Big Swole. Oh, gets pushed off only after one punch. And now Tasha, oh, swinging neckbreaker there to Big Swole, taking the lady down. But now look at Tasha, not wasting any time, going to go to the top rope. Tasha steals, she drops the elbow right across the chest, going for the cover here, one. And an impressive kick out, not even a one for Big Swole. It's going to take a lot more to put away Big Swole here. Tasha now. Oh, getting knocked out completely there by Big Swole. Swole now picking up Tasha. What's she going to go for here? Trying to go for those chops. Unable to do so. Oh, a knee right to the face. Knocks out Big Swole momentarily. Now Tasha, what's she going to go for here? And oh, a suplex into a cover here. Kick out two for Tasha's sheets. And now Big Swole reversing again. Back and forth action between these two ladies. Oh my goodness, Tasha throwing her body through the air just to take out Big Swole here. Oh, Tasha, we go for a big move, unable to connect them. Oh, what a headbutt from Big Swole. Big Swole right now in full control of Tasha Sheets. Drag her to the middle of the ring. Uh-oh, I think we, we saw this at hard times. The submission maneuver of Big Swole. Big Swole trying to make Tasha Sheets tap out. Is she going to do it? No, she is not. Tasha fighting out of it. 
And now Tasha again has big swall. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm surprised Tasha is still in this match after after that vicious headbutt that we saw. It was enough to knock a person completely out. Tasha now has Big Swole hung up on the ropes. What's she going to go for here? Just going to try and choke her out. That's one way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. And a Big Swole again with a big reversal. Swole now. Oh my goodness gracious. Is that going to do it there for Tasha? Almost. Tasha just barely finding the will to kick out of that move. Swole now forced to take a second to breathe, trying to figure out what to do next. Now just stomping away on the face of Tasha Steeles. And again, oh my goodness, throwing her around like a ragdoll. But Tasha wisely moving out of the ring. And now look again, you big Swole, you can't keep falling for that same move there. And now Tasha going to go to the top rope again. Going to try and go for that elbow drop once more. Oh my goodness, that was an elbow drop. Goes for the cover. Is that going to do it? One. Got that kick out of two. Tasha can't believe it. Now Tasha. Tasha trying to get back into this matchup here against Big Swole. Can she do it? And now Big Swole, oh my goodness, what a right hook there. Tasha now. Tasha, had, or Big Swole having a hold of Tasha. Tasha again, this is the third time she's gone for that move. And a kick out again from Tasha Steeles. Tasha showing some resiliency here against Big Swole. Oh, trying to go for that headbutt again. Tasha not going to let her get it. Wait, 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 what is this? What is Tasha going? No, 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 no. Get set. What a ginormous cutter. Goes for the cover. One, two, and a kick out of two. Tasha nearly stole the matchup. Going for the drop kick there. Big swole. I think she realizes how close she was to losing that matchup. She underestimated Tasha Steeles. And Tasha again kicking out of it. Nothing, nothing Big Swole could do has been able to put away Tasha. Oh my goodness. Tasha again going to go top rope. This will be a third time this matchup she's gone for it. And go for that ginormous set on. Is that going to do it? One, two, kick out of two. Tasha, what do you got to do to put away Swole? Oh, a thump to the eye, I think. And another. And now look at this. Tasha right now. Three strikes right to the haze. And meanwhile, Big Swole is on Dizzy Lane. Good for the cover now as Tasha steals one, two, kick out two. Tasha again getting so close to putting away Big Squall. What is it going to take? What is it going to take for Tasha Steeles to put away Big Squall here? And now, oh my goodness, another rope, rope break there from Tasha. Just barely, I think. Big Squall now picking up Tasha. Trying to go for that headbutt again. Unable to do so. And there it is! Oh my goodness! Picture perfect cutter right out of midair! Goes for it! One! Two! And again! What is it gonna take for either woman here? Tasha, I don't think now's the time to be gloating though, to be completely honest, girl. I think now's the time to hunker down deep and figure out a plan. Now Tasha picking up Big Swole. Swole now. Uh-oh. Big Swole. Big Swole! Suplex now to Tasha Steals. And now what is what is Swole got to do? Tasha right now having the solution for everything Swole's cat has to offer. And now Swole's picking back up Tasha. Tasha now up against the ropes. 
And now look at this, just trying to hyperextend the arms of Tasha Steeles. It's Tasha about to tap out to Big Swole. Right now, this is not looking good for Tasha Steeles. Big Swole just wrenching the arms. For some reason, decides to release though. Oh, and a backhand. And low. Oh, my goodness. Tasha is in a world of pain now. Tasha steals now. Get back up. Oh, that headbutt. Another headbutt to the midsection. And Tasha steals. Steals in trouble. And that is all she wrote. That headbutt right to the jaw of Tasha steals was enough to knock her clean out. What a matchup between Big Swole and Tasha Steeles. That headbutt completely knocking out Tasha. Unable to do anything after that. Big Swole, of course, using some power that she's got. Regardless of facts, look at that pitcher. Perfect cutter. Literally freezing time whilst midair. Regardless, Big Swole's gaining more momentum, taking out the best friend of our current NWA Women's Champion, Kara Hogan. Big win for Big Swole here tonight. On top of the world, honestly. And right now, Kara Hogan is the person that should be afraid as she's getting ready to face this, this monstrous of a woman. Let's move on now to our next matchup of the evening. Guys, I hope you are all enjoying NWA Power today. I know I am. We have had already a stacked show for you all, and it's going to get even better. Wrestling Prodigies versus Gorilla's Destiny in a big-time rematch from two weeks ago, in which, basically, Gorilla's Destiny have not been on their A-game since arriving here in NWA Power. They lost to the Arsenal in pretty record time at hard times. And then lost to the Wrestling Prodigies and via Countout. Wrestling Prodigies, of course, happy to stay undefeated, but honestly, very upset over the fact that they didn't get the big win that they feel they deserved. They didn't beat the Grills of Destiny, formerly known as one of the greatest tag teams of all time. Or at least currently in the official verse. But before we even go into that matchup, I have some update. A big update concerning Sh Parade of Champions. Due to the constant attacks between each other, we will, in fact, see Rich Swan go one-on-one -on -one against Zack Sabre Jr. at Parade of Champions. Yes, we are finally going to get those two going one-on-one -on -one against each other in a no-holds-barred match. This feud between them ends at Parade of Champions. No rules. No, nothing that you could do. Your only limitations is your mind. Is between Zack Saber Jr. and Rich Swan. Hello, Josh. Welcome, welcome. Just made my just missed the announcements, but at Parade of Champions, we will be seeing Rich Swan versus Zack Saber Jr. in an no holds barred match. So now the was that the fourth match? Yeah, I think the fourth match decided for Parade of Champions. Yeah, the only title match we're missing for Parade of Champions right now is the tag team. And right now, we don't know, honestly, who the contenders are. I mean, this could be a big-time contender matchup between these two teams. But all right, we've had a big-time show for you just showing up. We saw Zack Sabre Jr. attack Rich Swan as Swan was getting ready to do action against a debuting Chris Adonis. It's confirmed that we will be seeing Chris Adonis in action next week, next week. We saw Kenta versus TJP in a beat the clock challenge for Kenta versus Samurai Del Sol. Kenta won the match and beat TJP in 7 minutes 49 seconds. That's the time to beat for Samurai Del Sol next week. Meanwhile, we just saw t uh, Tasha Steeles versus Big Swole in a big time matchup in which Big Swole was able to get the victor over Tasha Steeles after basically knocking her out via headbutt. Now we're getting a rematch from two weeks ago in which we will be seeing the wrestling prodigies take on none other than the Gorillas of Destiny. Did my message sent? Data is bugging. I see, oh my, oh my. So I think so. Yes, Josh. 
<laughs> All right. So we see already rest prodigies in the ring. Now we, of course, we are getting none other than the Gorillas of Destiny. Tamatanga Tonga Low, of course, very upset over the fact that they are currently 0-2 in NWA. 0-2. How could they be 0-2? They used to be undefeated in New Japan. Now they come here and everything is fine. <laughs> As Josh is currently spamming the chat with emotes. I don't know. I might have to put Josh in timeout for spamming. Uh, but who you guys got in this matchup? I saw uh, Matt, I think, was the only one who said anything. He said he's going with Gorillas of Destiny. Oh, never mind. Kian did as well. So far, the chat is one-sided towards Gorillas of Destiny. No faith in wrestling prodigies. All right, looks like we're starting things off with Henning versus Tomatonga. Right now, Joe Henning and Tomatonga doing battle as Josh is still spamming up the chat with emotes. <laughs> right now, oh, son of Mr. Perfect again. Going here against Tomatonga. Back and forth action between these two. Neither one of them getting a clear victor over the other. Now Henning trying to drag Tamatunga over into his corner, unable to do so. Reversal still by Tamatunga. Josh, of course, is going to big wrestling prodigies, of course, for his victor here today. Now, oh, what a DDT there from Joe Henning. Now just oh, trying to drive the knee right into the head of Tamatunga. As I was going to throw, of course, Henning into the corner. Throwing him clear across the ring. Maybe trying to get a tag team maneuver with his tag team partner, of course. And now reversal there. Back and forth action right now between Joe Hanning and Tama Tonga. Trying to get that tag team move here with Tonga Loa here. Unable to do so, however. Back and forth action between these two, though. Now, trying to go for a cutter, unable to do so. Back and forth. You know what? Like, it's been completely even between these two all right since the start of this matchup. Reversal from Hennig. Hennig now. Oh! Gonna pick back up Tamatunga. What is he gonna go for? All right. I feel like this matchup is better than the one they had two weeks ago. Tagging in Tongaloa now. Very wise, I would say, for the Grills of Destiny with the frequent tag ins. But Tongaloa getting immediately DDT'd there by Joe Henning. Reversal now. Not gonna go. Oh, kick right to the ribs. That's enough to crack a rib, let alone break one. Be right back. Okay, Josh, we'll keep your seat warm for you, buddy. And now, oh, big reversal there from Joe Henning. So right now, Rotunda's just still sitting on the apron, waiting to get tagged in. And now Hennig, going to go for a drop kick, unable to do much damage against them though. Another reversal, just catching the arm of Tonga Loa, now getting dumped back out to the outside. Hennig now, dangerous position with Tama Tonga literally right there. Telling Tonga Loa to get up and oh, this is, I don't like this, this is how they lost the matchup last week. Now, oh, kick to the midsection. And now Hennig. Hennig getting reversed there by Tong or Tonga Loa. As right now, Mayu Nomura is on a count of four. Reverse DDT from Joe Hennig. And now, oh, Tonga Tonga. <coughs> Excuse me. Right now, at a count of six, these two teams need to get back into the ring. And now, okay, both teams made it back into the ring. No count outs yet, thank goodness. I almost took on the controllers. <laughs> and now Joe Henning going still, fighting off against Tongu Loa here. It's been all of Joe Henning since the start of the matchup. Tongu Loa catching the kicks in the midsection now. Now what is he going to go for here? 
What is he going to go for here? Oh my goodness! Trying to make Joe Hennig tap out, unable to do so. Hennig getting out of it. Oh, it looks like Tonga Loa is trying to get back on the offense. Joe Hennig not going to let him have it. And now Hennig. Oh my goodness. Joe Hennig right now feeling good in this matchup. Has no desire to tag at Rotunda right now. Oh, what an uppercut strike. Hennig now. Oh boy. Showing that he truly is better than perfect outside superplex. So Tongo Law right now, Joe Hennig, a one-man army. I only wonder what's going to happen when Rotunda eventually gets tagged into the match. Now Tongo Law reverses Hennig. And oh, a headbutt, two headbutts, three! Come on, Manny Namor can see at the top of your screen yelling, barking to Tongo Law to throw him back into the ring. Oh, go for more headbutts here. I'm getting a headache just watching this. What is with today's episode of NWA Power? Is that the freaking headbutt episode we saw? We, we saw it with Big Swole. Now we're seeing it with Tungaloa. And now headache getting back up. Not going to go for the tag there. I thought for sure he was going to tag in Rotunda, but he was right in the corner. Instead, heading now. Choosing to do more destruction to Tungaloa. Now trying to go for a cutter, able to do so. Oh, but the big boot connects. Heading now. Go for a drop kick, unable to do so. And oh, there's how you do a cutter. Picture perfect cutter there from Tonga Loa. Meanwhile, Rotunda coming to the rescue. The Tama Tonga taking out Rotunda. I have not seen the girls of Destiny this serious in a match in a long time. Guess what happens to losing two matches back to back? Uh, is now heading. I, mean, I don't want to say unconscious, but he's definitely bleeding right now. Is Tongo Loa just watching? Meanwhile, Rotunda is down to the outside, unable to do anything right now. And now heading, heading, and now Rotunda back in the ring, unable oh, to do to go for the tag team maneuver with Hennig and Rotunda. Right now, Hennig needs to get the tag into Rotunda. Oh, look at this. Rotundo wisely tagging himself in, knowing Hennig wasn't able to tag him in. Oh, now look at this. Hennig and Rotundo both going after Tungaloa. And now Rotundo is about to get into the same submission maneuver that Hennig got, but he's like, oh, I thought he was going to pull more away from the ropes, but he didn't. Rotundo, though, quickly getting out of that submission maneuver from Tungaloa. Now what can what are we gonna see out of Rotunda here? Out of Taylor Rotunda. Rotunda getting thrown right into his corner into the opposite corner. Splash into the corner there from Tungaloa. Tungaloa right now in full control of Rotunda. And a cutter to Rotunda. Is that enough right there? Gonna go for the cover here. One, two, kick out of two from Taylor Rotunda. Tungaloa now, what is he thinking about doing to Rotunda? Now think about doing anything. He's going to go and tag in Tamatunga. Honestly, very wise, I would say, of Tungaloa. And, oh, that's not very good. That's not PG there, uh, Tamatunga. <laughs> <clears throat> and now Rotunda finally finding his focus, I think, in this matchup. But it might be too little, too late. The guillotine DDT to Taylor Rotunda right now getting hit by all the big moves by the Grills of Destiny. And now flung right into the corner. Go for drop kick, but Rotunda able to reverse it. Goes for suplex now here on Tamatunga. Tamatunga now getting back up to his feet. Oh my goodness. And now just, oh, I thought he was slamming, but no he's not. He's going and kicking right into the arm and the chest of Tamatunga. Rotunda picking up Tamatunga. Now, now we're starting to get some action between these two. Wow. What are we going to see here now? Rotunda, Tamatunga, back and forth action between the two. And there's the cutter once more. Goes for the cover, but Joe Henning, I think unintentionally distracted uh, Manny there. Goes for one, two. And a kick out two and a half there for Taylor Rotunda. 
Now Rotunda being picked back up to his feet. Now, oh, Rotunda. Goes for a couple elbows right to the head of, of Tamatunga. What's he going to go for here? Oh, my. I thought he was throwing him into the corner. Instead, it was not. What a maneuver there. Oh, and again, wait. Something's up with the arm of, of, uh, of Tamatunga. He's, uh, he's not putting it back down. Oh, my goodness. Look at the arm. Tamatunga right now. The arm oh, just got to twist up more. The arm is not supposed to bend that way, ladies and gentlemen. And somehow, Tamatunga still kicks out. Look at the arm. It's literally folded onto the back. This, 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 ladies and gentlemen, his arm is literally broken. Oh, but he won't kick out. I've heard of people, I've heard of people wrestling with broken noses on their face, but not broken arms. And somehow, I, I, I don't even know anymore. Meanwhile, I'm sure, how do you snap a broken arm back into place? No! <laughs> I don't know how this young man is still fighting, but right now he's acting like Deku from My Hero Academia, still fighting with a broken arm. And now, oh, Joe Hennig. Right now with a count of four from the referee. And oh my goodness. Rotunda now eating post there. Or not Rotunda, I'm sorry, but Hennig. And now Hedig throwing Tamatonga back into the ring. Meanwhile, look at Tongaloa desperately trying to go for a tag. Knowing that right now Tamatonga needs to, to get out of there. Meanwhile, Rotunda makes a tag. Ducking underneath it. Go for that guillotine DDT. That might be enough right there. Goes for the cover. No Joe Hedig to break up the pin this time. One, two. A kick out of two from Taylor Rotunda. All right, now Taylor Rotunda. Oh, Able to lift back up the arm. I don't know the, the extent of the injury there from Tomatonga. But we'll just have to continue. And a corner pitcher perfect right there. That might be it to do it. One, two. And look at that. Hennig was going to break up the pin, I feel. But Taylor Rotunda still able to kick out. Now Rotunda. Oh, my goodness. Just smashing the head of Tomatonga onto the mat. Now Rotunda getting ready to put him away. Kick to the midsection, unable to do anything. Tamatonga, now what is he going to go for here? Picking back up Rotunda. Guillotine DDT for a third time. And right now Rotunda is busted open. Rotunda now, what is he going to go for here? Not going to go for anything. Tamatonga reverses that a spear. What a sequence between these two. And makes the tag to Joe Enig despite the spear. And now Hedding taking full control of Tamatunga after getting a hot tag in. What is that going to take for either of these two teams to put the other away? Hedding now. Swings. <laughs> Goes and takes out Tamatunga. Is that going to do it? One, two, three. You know, Tonga Loa did not go to the break of the pen. I, I, what do you expect? The man might have potentially have a broken arm right now. Wrestling Prodigy is looking good. Oh, come on. Tonga Loa checking out potentially Tama Tonga and his broken arm. And now look at this. Targeting the arm that literally is potentially broken. You saw that. Joe Henning and Taylor Rotunda literally going after the arm, the injured, the damaged, the potentially broken arm of Tamatonga. Oh my goodness, but what a matchup between these two. Jesse, you got to keep Tama out of action for a while. That's a broken arm. I don't know. We're going to figure out the extent of the injury of Tamatonga's arm because he did continue the match. The ref did not put up the X sign. So it, it's kind of hard to say exactly, and not to mention he kept on fighting. But 
We, yes, Tamatanga is 100% on his way to the hospital right now, and we are going to see the full extent of the damage arm of Tamatanga. Oh my goodness, though. What a matchup between these two. Glad you guys, though, are enjoying NWA Power. I am as well. It has been a very fun show. But as all fun shows, it is now time to get to the ending, the main event. It is time to see if Rohit Raju can basically make all of his dreams come true. What do I mean by that? Is, of course, if Rohit Raju and, of course, Samir and Sunil Singh is able to defeat the, the mega power team of Nick Aldis, Chris Hero, and Alexander Hammerstone... Then, of course, we are going to see Rohit Raju added to the main event of Parade of, Cham or, yeah, Parade of Champions, thus turning into a fatal four-way, but also by Per Sting, and because Rohit Raju would not shut up and complaining about it, we will also add him to the poster of Parade of Champions. But that is only if Rohit, Samir, and Sunil win. What very questions me, though, is how come Rohit, Rohit was basically given an option to pick his tag team partners? Why didn't he go with Shira? Shira could definitely outbalance Chris Hero, but I, I don't know. Right now, going with all this Hero and Hammerman. <laughs> you know, there was Dragon Man in New Japan, Matt, now there's Hammer Man in NWA. <laughs> I just want to point that out. <laughs> I just find that funny. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I'm glad everyone here is enjoying NWA today. It puts a smile on my face. It makes me very happy. So thank you all, of course, for tuning in to NWA Power today. It's been a good show. It's been a very enjoyable show. Um... To me, anyways. I don't know how it is to you guys. I love to hear your guys' opinion uh, coming foot, or coming back. But yeah, who is ready for the main event? Hero Man and Hammer Man. <laughs> the question is, can Alexander Hammerstone, Chris Hero, and Nick Aldis, can they work together? That is the question. These are the three men that are going to be facing each other at Parade of Champions. We already know Chris Hero and Alexander Hammerstone. They don't like each other. They don't. They they hate each other. To be completely honest, and the fact that they have to share the main event of Parade of Champions with each other infuriates them. Nick Aldis doesn't care. He Nick Aldis just wants to defend his championship and continue his amazing reign as NWA World Champion. As we are facing the longest loading screen in history. BRB real quick. Okay, Matt, make sure to come back. If you don't, I'll cry. All right, let's get this main event underway, ladies and gentlemen. Coming out first is our prestigious, our inaugural, our NWA world champion, Nick Aldis. Bring in pride and bring in prestige to NWA as always. Holding that title up high. Being able to win a fatal four-way elimination match at hard times. And then going on to face AJ Styles in the main event to win the title. And then had a hellacious brawl against Rich Swan at hard times. Nick Aldis currently undefeated here in NWA in both tag and singles match. Now getting ready to go off to, to, honestly, his biggest challenge yet. A triple threat, potentially a fatal four-way for his title. Nick Aldis honestly trying to prove to the world, and not to himself, but prove to the world that he is the number one world champion in the official verse. He is better than Hangman and Page. He is better than Joff Cobb. He is better than Tommaso Ciampa. But in order to do that, he's got to increase that resume so he welcomes the triple threat at Parade of Champions to help show the world that he is everything that he says he is the number one guy in the official verse now if all that is true or not remains to be seen it's still very early in that young man's career as world champion champion man we got champion man hero man and hammer man Matt Kean. <laughs> <laughs> Co 
coming out next is honestly the I want to say the ri biggest rising star in NWA. What do I mean by that is is that out of all the new faces I have worked with here in NWA, the one I least expected to be the one to stick and the one to be as big as he has gotten is Alexander Hammerstone. All from a fluke elimination with Chris Hero a couple of weeks ago, or actually, no, on the first episode of NWA Power. But regardless, Alexander Hammerstone has turned into a big fish in this pond. And I would have never seen it coming, to be completely honest. Regardless of the fact, now finds himself only a few months in in the main event of Parade of Champions against big-time rival Chris Hero. Potentially, could potentially be our next NWA World Champion. Who knows? Especially when we're talking about a triple threat match. Anything goes in that. Pinfalls, submission, or you could pin... The champion doesn't even have to be involved. And we've seen the fact that Hammerstone has been able to put away Chris Hero. Same goes for Chris Hero. We've seen that he could put away Alexander Hammerstone. This is going to be a big matchup here, though, tonight. I'm excited for this matchup. I'm excited to see if all this Hammerstone and Hero can actually work together. I think Rohit Raju picked the oh, Samir and Sunil is basically because they work better as a tag team than Shira. But who knows? Regardless, coming out next is none other than the knockout artist himself, Chris Hero. Actually, can we even call you the knockout artist anymore? You lost the knockout match to Alexander Hammerstone. I don't even know if we could call him the knockout artist anymore. Regardless of the fact, last man to enter the gauntlet match, almost a clear-cut victory for Chris Hero, but was unable to get the job done, resulted in a double countout after Alexander Hammerstone speared Chris Hero through a barricade. That is the third time that Hammerstone has done that to Chris Hero, resulting both potentially getting knocked out, but... More importantly, the countout. Sting then deemed that it was going to be a triple threat match between parade champions because they couldn't decide on a winner. Nick Aldis, of course, agreed. The knocked out artist. I like it, Kean. That's cool. <laughs> That's a good one. And there, of course, is the put together team. And there they are, the Maharaja. Look at this, Rohit Raju acting as pure, as confident as always. I don't know why he is walking to the ring with such swagger, with such, such, I don't even know what the word would be, but with such pure confidence that he's going to win. Does he not understand the, the, the uphill battle he has? He has potentially two of the hardest hitters in NWA right now going against them. Not only that, but also the current NWA World Champion Nick Aldis. Regardless of the fact, Nick Aldis is going to be starting this matchup first against Rohit Raju. Of course, Samir and Sunil Singh in the corner. Here we go. Matchup is official. And right now, oh, Rohit going quickly here against the chest of, of Nick Aldis. Oh my goodness. Potentially knocking out Aldis. And oh, look at this. Not even going to look at him. Oh, Alexander Hammerstone, of course. Not the one to let that go. And now just taunting them. Uh-oh, that was not a good idea. Whoa! Rohit! Picking apart Nick Aldis right now. And again, just taunting in the face of, of his opponents. And, oh! Wait, 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 wait. Rohit not going to let that strike go unnoticed, but Nick Aldis right there to save his partner. Oh, Chris Hero now. Chris Hero now here going against Rohit. Guys got to remember, Rohit Raju also has a bone to pick against Alexander Hammerstone. It was Hammerstone who eliminated Rohit from the gauntlet match, don't forget. And oh, swinging that breaker there. Rohit running clear out of the way, tacking in Samir Singh. Wanted to get as far away from Hammerstone as, or not Hammerstone, but, but Hero as possible. 
And now Samir Singh going here against Chris Hero, trying to... I don't even know what to do. I'm trying to outmaneuver the big man and try to stay away from him is the best bet. Oh my! Hero using the own momentum of Samir Singh against him. And now Samir DDT right now in control. But didn't notice that Chris Hero was on his way attacking Hammerstone. Oh my goodness, trading blows right there. And now Samir taking control of Alexander Hammerstone early on. Trying to go for a super kick, unable to do so, ducking under the clothesline though. And in the face of Nick Aldis. Trying to go for that super kick, unable to do so, Alexander caught him. Of right now, the Maharaja is looking fantastic against the, the main event of Parade of Champions. This is not looking good for Hero, Aldis, and Hammerstone, to be completely honest. Hammerstone now in the corner. Reversal by Hammerstone. And now getting thrown in the corner again. Guys, it is not every time that you see that, honestly, that tag team or single superstars are not good in tag teams. We're going to be seeing that between these three superstars. So now Nick Aldis getting tagged in by Hammerstone. And now Samir in trouble and wants none of Nick Aldis. And now tagging in Samir Singh. Trying to keep up with the tags here between their opponents. Not a bad one. Oh, Samir. Potential double drop kick there to Hero, but Hero stayed on the apron. Meanwhile, uh oh. Samir's going to wish he didn't just drop kick Chris Hero like that. I, I'm just only wanting one strike here on Samir. And now it's Hammerstone back into the ring. Honestly, I think they view Chris Hero as the biggest threat on the opposing team, and I wouldn't blame him. That's now Samir clotheslining Alexander Hammerstone. Going to go to the middle rope. And oh, dropping the elbow clear across the chest. Right now, Hammerstone has been the punching bag of, of the Maharaja. Oh, what a clothesline. Samir, or Samil, wisely rolling out of the ring. And now Hammerstone on the chase. But look at this, the trap there by Samil Singh. And now sending him down to the outside. And now Samil right now just taunting away. In the face of Chris Hero and Nick Aldis. That is never a good thing. And meanwhile, oh look at Hammerstone back in the ring. He's going to wish he didn't. Alexander Hammerstone, no. Alexander Hammerstone has Samil Singh up. And now, oh my. Going for that burning hammer. And now Samil is in a world of pain here against Hammerstone. Hammerstone, though, able to reverse. And now Hammerstone reverses Samil. Back and forth action now beginning between these two. Oh, what a shot there from Samil Singh. Going for a clothesline. Hammerstone caught him. Hammerstone now. Pumping up the shoes is Hammerstone. Feeling like he's in full control of this matchup. And honestly, he is. And now getting thrown into the corner. And now tag into Rohit Raju. Rohit, of course, wanting a piece of Hammerstone. Like I said, it was Hammerstone who beat him last week. In the gauntlet match. So you know this man wants a piece of Hammerstone. More than anyone else, honestly. Now hung up in the middle of the ropes to dry. And now Rohit in the corner of the Maharaja. This is not looking good for Hammerstone. Now Rohit over the top rope. Rohit now. Full control still. And now plants Hammerstone middle of the ring. 
And look at that, avoiding any potential tag-ins for Alexander Hammerstone. Cutting the ring completely in half. And now Rohit cross body. That's how it beat ZSJ. And almost put away Hammerstone right now. Nick Aldis getting involved. And oh, Nick Aldis defending against an attacking Rohit. Rohit now picking up Hammerstone. Hammerstone moving out of the way of the super kick. Hammerstone now swinging that breaker. It'd be wise for Hammerstone to make the tag, honestly. Oh, clothesline right there from Rohit Raju. And now Rohit just picking apart Alexander Hammerstone. This is not looking good. Again, just stopping any sort of tag from Hammerstone. Hammerstone now, whoa, throwing in Rohit. Rohit now. Fighting out of the corner. Alexander should have made the tag when he had the opportunity. And now, uh-oh. Alexander Hammerstone. Power bombs Rohit Raju right into the corner. Meanwhile, Hero and all this look on and impressed. And now, oh, reversal from Rohit Raju. This is bad. Rohit now. Rohit in, being controlled here by Alexander. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where's he going? Hung up against the ropes. Again, Alexander not going for the tag in. Honestly, these three men are full of pride. Neither one of them feels like they need the other to beat this, this three-man team, but they really do. And look at that. Hero tagged in by Alexander Hammerstone. Rohit trying to get out of the way. Trying to bring the big man down, and he does momentarily. And oh, also takes out Manny Nomura. And now Rohit Raju fears the big man, fears Chris Hero. Now just trying to big the, bring the big man down is Rohit Raju. Just tries the elbow right, not the elbow, I'm sorry, but the uh, the knee right into the back of Chris Hero. Now, oh my goodness, Chris Hero saying nah uh to Rohit Raju. Rohit right now fighting off Hero as well as he can. Hero now catches Rohit. Oh my goodness. And now it's Rohit who's trying to make the tag. Rohit Raju now in trouble. Chris Hero getting ready for it. Chris Hero going for a knockout. Chris Hero showing why he... Oh my goodness. Wait, what? They planned something special for Rohit Rosso. They planned something. You've got to be kidding me. These three men, they've been acting the entire time. Goes for the cover on Rohit. And Sunil Singh breaking up the pin. They're saying, poor Manny, poor Rohit. He just got powerbombed into oblivion. And now Chris Hero, full control. But look at this, Sunil Singh breaking the rules. And now it's Hero who's in trouble. Hero right now being choked out by by Rohit Raju. I'm surprised Rohit is standing. Now Rohit again just suffocating Chris Hero, making it almost impossible to breathe. Going top rope, Rohit Raju going to try and put away the big man. Does he do it? Oh my goodness, he might have just did it. Goes for the pinfalls. This going to do it. One. Two. I got kick out of two. Wait, he's going back up already? You gotta be kidding me. And now crossbody. Goes for it again. One. Then a kick out of one this time from Chris Hero. Rohit doesn't want any more a hero than he has to get. Oh my goodness, but Smeal Singh. 
He'll take more of the hero. I don't understand why none of these men would want to take on Chris Hero, in my opinion. Now Samil. Close line to the corner right now. Chris Hero needs to get tagged in. Or tagged out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hero now. What is he going to go for here? Oh, my goodness. Turning Samil Singh inside out. And now Samil getting sent into the corner. Hero now. Tag in from Nick Aldis. And now the current NWA World Champion in the ring. And now Samil potentially unconscious. Look at this. It's, it's Nick Aldis now taunting in the face of the Maharaja. And look at that. Drop kick does not even bring him down. But a sling blade will. And now... From the middle rope. Oh, and look at this Hammerstone playing a defense here. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what the heck, Samil? Trying to get back into the ring, trying to avoid, trying to avoid Nick Alvis as much as he can. And now, oh, it doesn't even bring the man down to his feet. That time it does, though. And now Samil Singh, middle rope. What is he going to go for here? Oh, my goodness. I'm surprised, honestly. Samil, Samil, Samir and Samil Singh giving it that much of a fight. <laughs> and again, just knocking out Alexander Hammerstone. Go for the elbow drop this time, not connecting. And now, back into the corner. Oh, and a clothesline in the corner from Nick Aldis. Aldis right now. Full control of Samil Singh. After a bunch of furious attacks from Samil. And now, uh-oh. We're going to see Nick Aldis fly. Nick Aldis, he loves going top rope for that elbow drop. But no! Unable to get it. And now, Samil Singh. Oh, wait, Nick Aldis. Nick Aldis is fighting out of it. Nick Aldis, what is he going to go for here? Going for a, a submission of sorts here on Samil Singh. Not a reversal here from Samil. Oh, kick to the midsection now. Samil in trouble. Oh, my trial driver. Samil needs the tag in. Now, right now, laying unconscious. Amima, look at this. These dogs surrounding this poor, defenseless creature. Laying unconscious, though, after the after the DDT. Now just choking out Samir Singh. Now going for the submission maneuver on Sunil. That might be enough to win the match. Can Sunil survive? Everything is on the line here for the Maharaja. No! Nick Aldis wins! Nick Aldis, Chris Hero, and Alexander Hammerstone put away the vic gets the victory. Right here, though, honestly, all three men took a beating. What a main event. What a six-man tag. But you know what we're going to have to deal with now. Rohit wasn't the one that was pinned or submitted. Rohit didn't lose the match. Sunil did. Regardless of the fact, what a main event. Both the Maharaja and the main event team giving it everything they got. Right here is where everything went sour. Congratulations to these three individuals. Tonight, they were teammates. But in the near future, they're going to be enemies. All buddy-buddy and happy right now. But how long is that going to last? Oh my, what a show. What a main event. What an episode of NWA Power, guys. I hope you all truly enjoyed today's episode. I really did. I thought today's NWA Power was fantastic and I couldn't be happier 
Real quick, as always, going to go through today's show just so I, everyone knows what happened because it was a big episode today. We started off today, Rich Swan versus Chris Adonis. Adonis hoping to make his long-awaited debut here in NWA. However, not going to happen here today because Rich Swan was ambushed by Zack Sabre Jr. at the beginning part of the show due to him continuously coming out and attacking ZSJ. It is now confirmed that we will be seeing Rich Swan versus ZSJ at Parade of Champions in a no-holds-barred match. Yes, no holds barred between these two. We're finally going to settle our differences. Coming out next, it was Kenta versus TJP, and the first of the two beat the clock challenges, which Kenta was able to defeat TJP in 7 minutes and 49 seconds. A pretty good, pretty good time for Kenta. It's up to Samurai Del Sol now to beat that time. Next, Big Swole versus Tasha Steeles in a very good one-on-one -on -one matchup between the two, but it was Big Swole who was able to get the victor after knocking out Steeles with a vicious headbutt. Next, we saw the Wrestling Prodigies defeat and potentially shelf the Gorillas of Destiny, at least Tamatanga. We saw this man's arm twisted, discombobulated, it, uh, in every sense of the word, broken. We don't know the full extent of Tamatanga. I will let you know. We will find out next week what is the fate of the Gorilla's Destiny. Regardless of the fact, though, Wrestling Prodigies did win here tonight. And honestly, I feel like it puts them in line for a tag team championship match. However, we'll find out more about that in the near future. Finally, in the main event, we saw Nick Aldis, Alexander Hammerstone, and Chris Hero face off against the Maharaja, in which we saw Nick Aldis make Sunil... Sing tap at the end to win the match. So the current car or the current poster for Parade Champions will remain the same, and of course the main event will remain a triple threat match, not a fatal four way. Thank goodness for Alex or thank goodness for Nick all this, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Justin James. Thank you all, of course, for joining me here today for this very fun episode of NWA Power. If you guys our new stream, see what you like, like what you see, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications to let you know whenever I go live, and leave a comment down below here if you are watching on YouTube on what your favorite match of the evening was, and who do you think will win the massive triple threat match at Parade of Champions. Anyways, guys, thank you all again for joining me here today, and as always, have a great day.